Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Let me put my years of game playing, event organizing, and game night hosting to use for you. Tonight, the question we are answering is what's in the box? Right here, I have a copy of Super Cats, a very small portable game from the Op, uh, previously known as USA Opoly. The Op uh, has provided a review copy of this game. No other compensation is provided. So again, I am Motuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. But our main hub is the website, which is at tabletopbellhop.com. You can go there and you can ask us gaming game-related questions by clicking on Ask the Bellhop, as well as see other videos like our unboxing videos. And you can see answers to other people's questions by clicking on gaming advice. I've also got a bunch of other stuff on the site. Just I'll let you discover that on your own. You can head over there, click around, and take a look at what's there. If you are watching right now on YouTube, it would be awesome if you hit that subscribe button. We are trying to get those numbers up, and we would greatly appreciate the support. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's enough about me. We are going to move on to Super Cat. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the shrink on this. I'm going to try to just do it with my fingers. That worked. So nice, easy to remove. So Super Cat from the op has uh, quite the list of designers on the front here. you got Anton Bauza, Corentin Labrat, Ludovic Montblanc, Nicholas Ori, Theo Rivera, and Nadej. Nadej looks like the artist. There's a little, like, art symbol. I kind of dig that. I like the little symbols they used. So on the back, it's got that same list. It says, Episode 1, Transformation. Shout, Super Cats! And choose a number with your hands. Transform your cats into Super Cats and become a hero. The power is in your paws. Then, Episode 2, Fight. Shout, Robo Dog! And choose a number with your hands. Destroy the Robo Dog to save your cat food. Contains 55 cards and rules. Let's take a look at what you get. Here is Super Cats again, nice tiny little box. I, am I gonna even be able to get this open? All right, on top we have instructions, pretty much as expected. We're gonna take a quick flip through those. Looks like lots of examples on here, examples of what cards, contents, that's always good to see. I do apologize a bit for the glare, having white in this room always is a little bit rough. Not a tiny rule book, but not too big. We are looking at a total of 11 pages. And I gotta say the aesthetic of these cats is pretty awesome. I am greatly reminded of the TV show Samurai Pizza Cats, which I was a big fan of. So inside we have a basic cardboard box insert that actually seems to be attached. No, it's in there really good. So I'm not even gonna bother trying to get that out. So you have a box insert, pretty boring, and then some cards. We're gonna open these up. So we're going to separate these by their backs to start. Looks like we probably got some advertisements here. Are these even fronts or backs? I don't even know. I have no clue what I'm looking at. If these are fronts or backs... Looks like these are based on the different characters, maybe? All right. Oh, if I'd use this side, it would have been better. These are very unique looking. Okay. So, that is obviously one cat. This is another cat. All right, now that I got this kind of making sense here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different decks of cats. 
We got some kind of reference card. Yeah, whatever this blue ninja thing is. We have a USAopoly um, website and stuff like that. We got a little, the power is in your paws promo card here. And then this one might actually be important to the game, so we're going to keep that over here. Then we got these hand cards that show a fist through five, so zero through five. On the other side, they show the exact same thing, two-sided. Then we got these, which I'm sure is the Robo Doug cards. And then, oh, I missed one of the cats, so this cat. So quickly going through these. So you have the cute, unassuming gray cat and a variety of different poses, very cute. And then you have the super version of the gray cat. Love the art. Gotta say it, nothing. There is no information on these cards. There's no numbers. There's no no suits. There's just different art. You got a gray tiger striped cat. Again, in a variety of poses. Okay, the cat's showing you its butt. That's totally applicable. That is very much a cat pose. And then, of course, we have the powered up super version of this cat. You got eye beams. You got bat cat. You got Thor Cat, obviously inspired by some other licenses. You got the Super Cute Cat, Starry Eyes. Well, I thought that was a number one, but it's just a tail. All right. Super Crazy Kung Fu Cat. And you know what? Just so I don't spoil it all, and to encourage you to get the game, I'm not going to show you the other three decks. But obviously, you've got the cute sides of the cats, and then on the other side, you've got the super powered side. Then, like I said, we've got these are individual cards. Then you have the Robo Dog, which obviously takes a bit to build. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to do a jig pop puzzle in front of you. That, that could be embarrassing. So we're going to grab all the cats. Not knowing how this is played, I am baffled. There are no suits. There's no numbers. There's just art. This one's going to be an interesting one. i got to say, I dig the art style. I am reminded of Samurai Pizza Cats, which is a thing. A cartoon that I grew up with. All right, let's see if we can get a Robo Dog here. And then this one's here. Then we got the claw here and the foot there. Play this crazy looking dog. And there we have it, the Robo Dog. All right. I, I am baffled. I have no clue what this game's, you know what, I'm going to mess this up. What this game's going to be like, what this game is about, besides there are a bunch of superhero, Saint Cyan, uh, science ninja team cats trying to defeat the Robo Dog. I got to say, it's got to be dead simple. There's not a number on any of these cards. There's no information anywhere. There's nothing to track. Um, wow. What a unique looking game. Ah, uh, everything obviously fits nice back in the box. Doesn't even slide around too much. Doesn't, I I would guess, you may or may not be able to sleeve those cards and use this. It's, it's, it's going to be a tight fit. If it adds any width to these cards, they're not going to fit back in here. But you know what? They probably would fit kind of standing up. But you know what? You can just pull this out. So there you go. That is what you get in a copy of Super Cats from the Op. So here we have it, Super Cats from the Op. I have no clue. This is probably the most baffling game I have ever unboxed and looked at in my life because I could not see any mechanics. There was nothing there. There's nothing on the cards. Um, I have no clue how this is going to play. I'm really looking forward to reading the rule book for this and checking it out. I have to assume it's going to be dead simple. Probably going to be a great game to play with my kids. So looking forward to checking this out again. That was Super Cats from the Op. Um, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. If you dig this video and care to tip your bellhop, head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Otherwise, head over to tabletopbellhop.com where you can find all kinds of gaming content. Uh, that's it for today's unboxing video. Thank you for joining me. Good night and game on.